is what is up ryan here and we are playing a game that came out not too long ago i completely missed when it came out and i thought you know let's change it up chat you know we're always doing a survival game we're always doing fortnite but the survival games we do are multiplayer you know get the loot you know this is really loud you know but what i'm trying to say chat is that today we're gonna do a single player survival game a little bit different a little bit, a little bit interesting. I'm sorry, this is really loud. I, it's the first time I've launched the game. I'm trying to talk over it. It's, it's not easy. We're gonna, we're gonna get into the options now, okay? Okay. It's really, really loud. All right, real quick. Please. There you go. Okay. All right, subtitles enabled. Stereo, English, English, narration frequency. Play all. Just gotta be careful about like real music in this game because this could have real music. Graphics, field of view. Ugh. Okay, I this all on ultra. What are you doing? Is this only enabled this able to Motion blur. Get away from it. Gamma. Normal. Enable. Depth of field. Bloom. We'll keep on. Grain effect. We'll definitely not keep on. View distance. All the way. V-sync. No. Nope. Full screen. Primary display. Apply. Okay. So. I've never played this. I don't know much about but what I do know is we're going down in the deep, deep winters, the forest, where no one goes. And we're gonna survive. Turn music off? Nah, 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 nah. Music's good for a game. Wow, you have a lot of different playthrough accounts. We'll do. Numero uno. All right. All right. Northern Quebec, October 1970. Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Carl gets it done, woo! Step out. They had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. Pretty cool so far. Like NASCAR, man. This is what they drive in NASCAR, right? Pretty sure. Same thing. When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Okay. All right, options. Controls. Go for a solid 20, see where we're at. Yeah, I can deal with that. The rock chat. Why do I feel like we can go in here? Because we can. It will be good. Mana stand. Ill fair la bon vavity. Read. Oh. Okay. Alright, solid. You could maybe try and look at your Instagram DM? Okay. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Alright, Blaine. Why good, was buddy. it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Still not a soul in sight. 
There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Alright, so we need pliers, is what it looks like. Let's go check up here. 100% pliers up in the tower. Why? Because that's where you put pliers in a tower. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to reestablish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. Are we going to find box forts in this? Fire starters. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, this is kind of going to be survivalish, man. This is going to be cool. I know absolutely nothing about this game. Right, you should play Wildlands? Nah, I've heard it's horrible. An empty bottle. Okay, so it's actually worth, like, looking around and looting. Alright, good call. Good call. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Get down to business, Carl. Carl, you're real strong. You just threw that thing open. I like the truck Carl drives. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests. Not too far from here. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Whee, Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target <gasps> had become the man himself. Carl's dead! Game over! Okay, guys, I will see you guys next time. Very good one. Peace out, guys. Wake up, Carl. What are you doing? Come on. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. It does look pretty skin-stinging, I won't lie, chat. Run Carl from freezing to death and save the game. When under stress, Carl's less accurate and runs shorter distances. Ration. Fire starter matches. Um. I need wood. That's what it's telling me, I think. Chad, am I blind? Where is the wood? I need wood. Alright, let's go look outside. We need wood, I think. Carl couldn't give up. Found Surely it. something in there could be useful. Shut the door, Carl. Alright, 
Alright, he's going up. <laughs> My thinking, 400 IQ is going up. Wow, you warm up quick in this. Alright, we're good. Huh? Check up there and then we'll go and warm up again. And we'll keep going. Nothing up there. That's weird. Is that water? That's water. You can actually start a fire out here, that's hilarious. Whoa. Get our like mentality going up a little bit before we leave. The chains on the table. Even better than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. Okay, let's do it. Carl's such a smart man, chat. Oh, look at the footsteps. Still there, that's cool. supposed to heal myself in here? I think maybe down the road. Let's go. You can get yourself a box for it? Yeah, that'd be the smart thing to do right now, right? Supposed to do. Okay, we're missing something here. We're supposed to heal ourselves somehow. Table, maybe? It looks like you had a bottle. Dude, I'm, I'm literally messing up the tutorial of this game right now. Nope, that's just. That's a lugger. Uh, maybe I have something in my inventory. Nope. I do not. Um... The other car? I don't know if I- I didn't hit a car, it just drove me off the road. Was there another car back there, chat? How, how are there no meds? I have an idea. Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. No, oh, never mind. That Cigarette was his own personal breathing assistant. That did worse. I don't think that helped. Maybe it did. Oh, you're right, definitely. Yep. Complaining was not in Carl's nature. It would take more than light injuries to interrupt his investigation. Lock iron box. The driver had taken off. It was still best no. to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. The trunk. 
Slow here, chat. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted from 1970s music. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes, the Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. I feel like I'm gonna crash really soon. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. Oh. Loading next level. It's going Half-Life style. Woo! We made it, chat. We're good. Alright. I like it. wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Something fell to the bottom of the box. had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close, that the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Keep picture. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? <laughs> All right, this is interesting. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. Amen. Place is a mess. I don't know how to do it. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. 
garage key. Customer's credit. Let's see. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Okay. Huh. Interesting. This is a cool game. Sherry Wine. Hi, first time donating. Question seven days to die? Maybe soon, my man. Thank you for the ten, Nathan. First time ever donating, buddy. I appreciate it. Broken clock. How convenient. Thank you for the ten. Can we get a uh, hashtag Nathaniel in the chat, my man? Thank you very much. And yeah, at one point, we'll see. We'll see, bro. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. So someone turned on the garage? But who? Frick's Jane. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. The wolves went that way. The last place we want to go right now. Uh, we gotta be careful, man. There could be a wolf in here! <gasps> nope, no wolf. Hardware. So we need to fix the generator. Crayons! Anything suspicious around here, chat? Likely story. Open the door. I'm out of here. Blinding light. Looks like the long dark. Yeah, it's kind of similar, man. Get the lights on now. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied yeah. with electricity at the same time. Right, there we go. Now let's turn on the pump. Better graphics than long dark? More realistic, yeah. Alright, let's get gas in our car. Hi Ryan, first time donating and wanted to say if you've been watching since Halo, I remember when you did that wipeout map, will you ever go back to Halo? Never, I'm never go back to Halo, my man. But uh, we might, we might play it again at one point, okay? We'll see. Men Colors, thank you for watching for so long, man. That is a very, very long time to watch and I appreciate it. Can we get hashtag Madden in the chat? Thank you very much for your first donation and for watching all this time, dude. That is absolutely insane. Thank you very much, buddy. Maybe one day. Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. All right, let's go. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going, chat? I'm just gonna keep going down here.
We're fine, Chad. We're fine. Don't worry. The track was fresh. That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? Someone had been playing with a crossbow here. A very dangerous game. A bolt could hit someone's tire or their eye. Or their eye. It could even kill someone if the aim was right. Or you open up. The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally, has seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry, but whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait. That is not a human. Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this, as if an iceberg came out of the ground, that was a first. Oh, it's a first. Chad, this looks like multiple wolves or bears. I'm not. Carl felt engulfed by a wave of cold, and for a second thought he was fainting. All of a sudden, four phantasmagoric figures were fixing their gaze on him. What the hell was going on? Okay. Hello? Gonna go now. Carl sensed that the cold was beating a retreat, Been as a if he was moving away from some the kind of GE center Force of gravity. 1080 T ready for seven days plaza. Tell me you have a word on R for less than three. Wesley, thank you for the five. I appreciate my man, and I do not have a word currently. No, I will let you know what I'm planning on. No, thank you for the five, buddy. Tidar is coming in from men says PS you deserve everything you get don't forget I appreciate that buddy thank you very much good old Carl's getting chilly I'm so confused. I want to follow him back this way. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. You know what I mean?
All right, let's get back to the car. Let's get back to the car. It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Where am I supposed to be going? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Does anyone know where I'm supposed to go right now? I think this uh, became an open world game and I didn't realize it. <laughs> and now I'm very confused. Thank you, Wesley, for the noise, man. all the houses okay so let's um let's hit that one back behind us and we'll hit all those no reason to go north right not to hamilton yet i think that's our house actually carl knew why he was suddenly shivering he was going back to the realm of visions i don't get what i'm supposed to be doing here hey i gotta talk to people to realize who they are or something Numbness was giving way to awareness. The vision was wavering. No, I'm fine, Christian. We're good. I yawn all the time, man. Alright, get me back in this car, man. Okay, dude, look how cold, like, my screen is. We need a little, we need a little music right now. Let's go up here and say hello. See what's up. The wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. The soundlessness of the area suggested Coming it in. was empty. Alright, let's get a fire going. I am so cold. There we go. Alright, much better. Someone ran out of packing his luggage money in a jar. What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. <laughs> narrator, dude. Great song. A pay stub for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Alexander Bleff felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier Fiss. Well, that was back in the 70s, though. Who knows, though? Nice. A window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. A window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. No way, I never heard you say that before. Le Montre. This is when you know. This is when you know you leave. When there's a kid's drawing of a gigantic guy standing over big trees with blue eyes. You know there are white walkers and you leave. Okay? Dizzy, uh, Carl, why are you still here? Fear the worst for Alexandra. He hardly gets any safe thought of the war disease, but uh, the war a deep impression on me. And she'll have to cover up and see his dreams. Obviously, he didn't go back to sleep after chain smoking. Then I will attack my things in the morning. I wonder why. Do you see? Wait. 
He stared in the fort. He barely speaks to me. His son asked him to play ball and he didn't say a word. Last night I heard him mumble in his sleep. He's coming. Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. I need a magnet and string, and I need a key. What is that? Nice. Pierre was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to soon to be rest uh, restarted copper mine. Blaze, an engineer by training who was working on behalf of the concerted hand by William Hamlin, poorly in charge of development plans around the reopening of the mine. At first, please had disclosed that the body had been uh, desecrated. Today, the officer varies and is partly devoured by beasts. Is this supposed to be a scary game? Um. I don't know the answer to that. Attached wire. All right, we need a magnet. The key, which seemed to be meant for a padlock, okay, we know where bore that an inscription reading "It's a a fix." Hmm, a company name. Better keep an eye open. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. We need a magnet, man. We need a magnet. The boot lace on the porch now. We found the string. We need a magnet. Only tormented mind, smoking bed. What's the difference from smoking in bed? Why is it so bad? Where would a magnet be, chat? too dangerous around these days. I don't know much about what's going on because mom won't tell me anything in an attempt to reassure me but all I know is she's the exact same impression on her face when I startle startle her. Dad and Mr. Roy aren't coming because they have gone to Mr. Real Heroes. My grandma was a very big house in North Minnesota you would be welcome there. I must go now quite literally. Your friend Martin. Why do you hide that? When finding a boot one wonders what became of the foot. These guys are ridiculous. All right, I'm thinking maybe we find a magnet in the in the thing, right in the fridge door. The key doesn't work for that. Wait, what is the key for, chat? Wait, do you think, chat? You ready for this? I'm a genius. I'm a genius, chat. People are freaking out. They're leaving town. They tell to pack their things. This guy has to go. Goes real quick, right? There's a key in his house. What did he leave the key for? The box of the guy that crashed into me. What? Alright, I 
tried chat. I thought it was cool. <sighs> the fridge door. What are we missing here, man? Let's just check out back, right? Onto the house. I don't really know what I'm missing here, man, but I feel like I'm definitely missing something. On top of the fridge. No, can't jump. The picture had been taken inside the house. It was the same wallpaper. Judging by the smiles, nobody suspected the impending misfortunes. Little Martin Blais with his uncle Pierre. There was a deep sense of bonding and pride coming out of the picture. Carl felt sorry for the man. No one deserves such a cruel fate. Dude, look at the floor. Where is this magnet? Whose house is this? Bla Blaze? Blaios? And we're gonna hit up uh, the doctors next. Magnet. The spirograph amused Carl. It was a nice modern toy, aside from being repetitive by nature and completely useless. Still, it found its way into many Quebecois homes. You're close to the magnet. Well, looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Well, looks like someone woke up on the wrong side I don't of think the that's bed. Sure, man. Music can just mean music, you know. Dude, this does not make sense. What are we missing here? We're missing this magnet. I just I have no idea where it could be. I have no idea. I feel like I'm going crazy right now. We'll come back.
boy's house. Alright, quiet music. I need a focus here, okay? Or we think it, chat. Let's check uh, the first house on our left coming up. Oh my god, I thought the bridge was out. I was about to freak out. Oh my. All right, here we go. Go back, yo, we can go back later, chill. All speakers have magnets, destroy the car radio. Why would you ever live up here? Can I just please ask that? Finding a locked door in the country is not that big of a deal. Carl knew a key had to be hidden nearby. Like there should be a law forbidding things. doctors from falling sick. There should be a law about doctors getting sick. Hit in the outhouse chat. stuck again. Oh, mailbox. Easy. In spite of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. For the one-eyed, or for other vision problems, the eye patch was the way to go. Yes, it was. It was in style, chat. Nightmare? Why is that his nightmare? Store is cool. Dry place with a constant temperature, they said. First aid kit, nice. A chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. A communist manifesto. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant prison time. And even at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Why would the doctor own such a book? Communist! Dr. Bopre had done his medical studies quite far from here. He was surely one of the first students out of the new campus to settle on the mountainside. Doctors used light reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling, but back then it was pretty much always the case with medicine. Car. No, it's about a woman dying. The usual thing you have in your household. I have a few notes about women dying too, chat. It's a, it's a pretty normal Someone thing. had lost a few liters of blood here. Carl's first thought had been a lumber accident. Someone's hand cut by a saw or a hunting accident. Oh. In any case, whoever had lost all this blood couldn't have gone far. Perhaps they were already dead.
I don't really know what else to do, chat. I think we looked at everything in here, right? Yeah. Okay. Nothing to see here, I guess. Let's go. Great care had to be taken searching this place full of oddities. Everything was important. The decor itself told a story. Alright, peace out, Frederick. Next house coming up on the right now. Dude, this game is making me like sleepy right now. Drive like a maniac. Since there's no one around there. Why do you need to land when you have a flashlight? Maybe it'll run out of batteries. Mm -hmm. Charging isn't an issue in this game? Yeah, right? Luckily not. Holy! That scared me so bad. Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange retentisse par ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de temps. Mais mon grand! Rime ma carabine au bout du doigt. C'est un shotgun? Bang, 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 si ça s'approche. Non, il voit un shotgun. <rire> si tu veux du linge chaud parce que t'es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Oh, caribou. Et tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes guenilles. <rire> I can get warm clothing. C'est vrai, le jeune, que tu te promènes quasiment en pas bête. Une bonne police, ça te fera pas de tort. Mais je vais te dire une chose. Dans ton coin de pays comme Paris, on n'a rien sans rien. Et où, mon caribou? I'll get your stupid caribou. You need to chill out right now, big dog. Hey, la corribou, la tête. Ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la corribou. A tué tous ces maris. Les uns après les autres. I hear one more word of French. So help me, old man. You ain't getting your stupid caribou. You'll starve. Tu bon yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it caribou or kerosene? I, you know, could have been kerosene for all I know. All right, where where was this? Okay, North House. Now let's keep going. Next one will be on the left. There was so much in this cabin to enrich body and mind. Carl couldn't leave empty-handed. Oh, I could. And I shall. Out of my way. Move it. Move it, fence. Out of my way. Out of my way, rock. Out of my way, fence. House of the Patriot. The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Caribou alcohol? 
Quebec Liberty Lab enforce in Africa it all. And elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. Woo! In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, yeah. All a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Prepare caribou. I don't know what I need. I have something. I don't know what else I need. Solid. The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Okay. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Carl knew right away that the owner of this place wasn't a copper collector. No, this was a junk man's base of operations. The guy definitely seemed like quite the expert in scavenging scrap metal, with or without permission, surely. In the right hands, red metal could sell like hotcakes. Jesus, I'm so tired right now. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. White whiskey, too much isn't a valid quantity for that. Sherry wine plus added mellowness. I need, I need caribou though. All right, we Audi. Too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. Nice. That's the weakest hit ever. Oh my god, Ryan! Is that voice from Benny Fobbit? Oh, or from getting over it? No, it's not Benny Fawnet. 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 I don't know how you say it, man. You get a bottle of water for the general store to do it? If Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. Let's go all the way back to the general store, then. I'm gonna like fall asleep on stream right now. I am so tired and I do not know why. I'm sorry, chat. I don't wanna drink coffee or anything or get an energy drink though because I don't wanna be awake super late tonight. Who said I need to get wine? Whoever said that, I'm pissed. We came all the way back here for nothing. Oh my, I am tired. Okay. It's okay. Let's hit these first three houses down here.
Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. Stay away, Grind. Literally, this game's like, it's like white noise to me right now, dude. It's putting me asleep. It's so soothing. You can fall asleep, we don't mind. Awesome, good to hear. The air was freezing right down to the bone. The otherworldly ice had struck again. The woman's hopes and dreams were frozen in eternity. Something was hidden under the stairs. Man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. Spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. It seemed like secrecy was commonplace in this house. Carl felt the cold slowly dissipate and was brought back to reality. Giselle was, was now only you, ice, and all that was left of her voice was a diary. Well, was she confided in this diary, amongst other things, the tragic story of a young woman, a victim. Was this what she was hiding? Mother once told me when I was first first met Gills that I hadn't picked the brightest ball of a lot. Fly is seeing the truth, the words always trust your mother's wisdom. The black man seems a prime example of guilt. Going to be a long time before the man's will be out there in the original language. But now the black man said it began. Let it be honest, Gills is way out of his league, but Gills doesn't even know he's actually going to carry out. I don't even think he would ever just throw random threats out loud in the kitchen. He said he'll do whatever, but I know better than the black man requires. Master of Gunning and Gills is a master of nothing. He's a slave and forever will be happy. Look at the safe and keeps hidden in the firewall. Which stores all these incriminating documents he intended to use. I just can't come to grips with the sheer ridiculousness of the whole thing. Solid. Looks like the holes in that puzzle are there to stay. The pot was cold, and the stew inside wasn't cooked. It's likely that poor Giselle was slow cooking it before she got snapped. What a waste. Ta -da. Carl had seen that kind of safe before. With its double layered security system blending letters and numbers, its code couldn't be broken by the common burglar. Ah, moving. What a pleasant activity. Of course, you'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box. Oscar, thank you the GRS is happy right there for the other day. I appreciate it, buddy. It's an interesting game. I want to keep going with it, but... We're gonna be calling this journal a little earlier, I think. What a mess. 
Clearly, there was some major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. Beautiful portrait of Gilles and Giselle, bound together by the chains of conventional love. This game is just literally making me fall asleep right now. Many boxes scattered above. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. As weird as this is, chat, because this is weird. This is real weird, chat. I never do this. We're going to end off here. I don't know why, but I am just dead tired right now. Like, I am... I am falling asleep. I never get tired on stream. Um, game is saved. We will continue from here. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. It's cool. It's a cool game. I want to keep going with it, man. Um, I'm just, for some reason, I'm falling asleep, man. And I cannot entertain you guys and focus on this game while falling asleep. Give yourself a couple smacks on the back of your head. That always wakes me up. No. Thank you for the $20, Trent. I appreciate it, my man. Much love, buddy. Can we get a uh, hashtag Trent in the chat? Yeah, no, it's a cool game. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. I'm just like... I was like great in, in Fortnite, and all of a sudden I'm like... I'm like sleepy. You're just getting older? Nah. No, it's not that. Please. It's not that. I'm 21, man. I'm not old. I'm like in prime for staying up late still. I, I think, I, I don't know, I'm just like, maybe I slept bad. I don't even know. <sighs> Sorry guys. I love you guys. Forgive me. We'll be back tomorrow. We're doing Survival Sunday tomorrow. So tomorrow, we are uh, actually going to be, uh... yeah. Tomorrow we're actually going to be doing two survival games. No Fortnite, nothing else, just survival games. So probably miscreated, definitely miscreated, and something else. And, uh, and it'll be a good time. So I'll we'll see you guys then. Alright. Have an amazing rest of your night, guys. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time. I'm sorry for the short stream. I'm just... I don't know. I don't know. My bad. My bad. But peace out, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, teammates. Thank you.